Welcome to the Merlin Meals for Achievement Breakfast at Classroom training. This is an important part of our students' day, and we are excited to bring this program to you this school year. Every student at your school has an opportunity to eat breakfast in the classroom. This program is funded by state and federal funds. Teachers will administer the program in their classrooms. Benefits of Breakfast in Classroom. This program is free for all enrolled students at your school. It improves academic performance and attendance. It reduces behavior problems and tardiness. And nurses have seen fewer visits to their office due to hunger. What makes a reimbursable breakfast? Four components are offered for breakfast every day. Three out of the four components must be taken to meet a reimbursable breakfast meal for each student. Under the federal guidelines, a reimbursable breakfast consists of the four components. The entree is the first component. Two choices of fruit would include the second and third component. Examples of those fruit components would be fresh fruit, dried fruit, fruit cup, or juice. And the fourth component is milk, which is always optional. Eleven by seventeen breakfast chart will be posted in each homeroom classroom. This chart will show you the options that a student can choose every day for breakfast. Any school with breakfast in classroom that has pre-K students and under will have a special breakfast bag packed specially for that child. This is due to restrictions based on the nutrients and analysis of that age group. The meal pattern requires that pre-K students in the same service area at the same time receive the same components. This rule applies to pre-K students who are served in the classroom for breakfast. The Office of Food Nutrition handles student allergies. Special breakfast and classroom allergy cycle menus have been created by a registered dietitian to accommodate the big eight allergens and also other common allergies. Breakfast and classroom cycle menus are peanut and tree nut free. Students requiring special accommodations will receive a specially packed breakfast meal. It will have a neon label on it that would have the student's name, their homeroom, grade, the type of allergy cycle menu, and any other modifications or alerts. The nuts and bolts of the program. Every morning, the cafeteria staff will bring your breakfast bags to your classroom. Please let them know where they should place the bag, on a desk or a counter. Never place bags on the floor. Teachers, you must supervise students as they select breakfast for the day. A roster will be placed in a breakfast bag. You will use this roster to check off their names as they choose a breakfast meal. It is important that students take all the components for a breakfast meal. Each student is entitled to one breakfast. Teachers, this is an ideal time to role model the importance of a good breakfast. You are welcome to eat breakfast along with your students. Please make sure your name is on the roster. If you do not have enough breakfast items, please get more from your cafeteria staff. Please do not borrow from another classroom. Our goal is to pack adequate amounts. Teachers, any unused breakfast meals should remain in your breakfast bags. After breakfast, Place the roster and your breakfast bag outside of your classroom in the hallway. Dispose of all food items and trash in designated trash cans in the hallways or classroom. Contact custodial staff concerning student spills.
Teachers, please set up a share table that will encourage students to return prepackaged and sealed whole foods that they did not choose to eat. Food items that can be placed on the share table are the following. Any items that are unopened, such as crackers, cereal, cereal bars, bagged and sealed fruit, breakfast breads, unopened juice, and unopened fruit cups. At the end of breakfast, all foods on the share table should be discarded. Do not place them back in the breakfast bag. The Office of Food and Nutrition Services is joining the Food Waste Initiative and Sustainability Project of Baltimore County Schools. This poster will be placed in your home and classroom to remind all to do not waste food. Each homeroom classroom will receive a breakfast poster. This is a teacher checklist that will help guide you on all the procedures for the breakfast and classroom program. Why is checking off the roster important? Regulations require that only one breakfast can be claimed per student. Records must show the names of each student who received the breakfast. Maryland Department of Education will withhold funding for any meals that were falsely claimed. Keeping accurate records and identifying reimbursable meals is essential. Rosters must be returned daily. Here is an example of the student roster, which will be placed in your breakfast bag daily. What ways can the program become in compliant? Students checking off names on the rosters, incomplete breakfast meals taken, only a milk or juice. Names being checked off for a student who did not take a complete breakfast meal, or students that take too many components for the breakfast meal. Our breakfast program ensures that students receive a balanced and nutritious meal. Our office receives funding for all breakfast served, so therefore accurate counts are necessary. Develop a buddy system to address substitute teachers who may not be familiar with the breakfast in classroom program. Good communication is essential for the success for the breakfast in classroom program. We are here to feed students and assist in student achievement. A student cannot learn if their stomach is empty and they cannot focus on their classwork.